Hey, how you doing? Thought I'd start off with a little uh, Pokemon here today. That's what it looks like at 116 millimeter. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. Really have no idea what's going on here, but I can make some guesses, I suppose. I'm guessing that this black shield on the outside here works as a, uh, or like a uh, Faraday cage in reverse. And this perhaps is uh, on the center, in the middle, a vortex generator. You see this black cap or ring on a lot of images that I take. But you see the spiral coming out of this right here? And yet it stays within within this uh, container here. And over to the left, it looks like to me that it was getting ready to power up. You see that ring kind of heating up or getting ready to do its thing. And this little vapor trail that goes along. And then when it kicks in the gear, it whips out this uh, plasma. Uh, just like I said, a guess. But uh, anyway, notice how this is traveling in a straight line. All these uh, are in order here. I mean, they're all in the same line here. Even that plasma before it lights up. You can see it's all in a row. So if it's a airplane in the distance that's out of focus, um, I'm having a hard time believing that because we've got a multitude of colors which would be on the same wingtip. If it's going from the left to the right, that would be the right wingtip. And this should be green the whole time uh, down through here. Not uh, faint, you know, red and, and white and yellow and, and blue. Those are not aircraft colors, but maybe it's a, you know, light distortion or atmospheric distortion. Anyway, this is a screen grab from the short little video that I've got here. And I don't know if you've ever watched any of the other ghost videos that I have that I call them or the clear or invisible UFO videos. But in one of them, you can clearly just see, see these uh, distinct lines or rings uh, undulating uh, up and down the object. And it, I think it's probably a magnetic resonance of some type being uh, pushed through here. But anyway, this is a video of it. Camera sitting on a tripod, and I just let it go across the field of uh, view there, trying to hold it steady, because when you got any kind of zoom on the camera, this is the same one in slow motion. You've got any kind of zoom on any of these, they're really hard to, you know, get it to hold still uh, when you're trying to film a moving object. I just don't have high dollar equipment so I'll, I'll blame the equipment <laughs> anyway this here is uh, about 350 millimeters and notice again here the uh, same colors or I mean uh, different colors on the same side you know red and green uh, and uh, that just doesn't line up to be uh, any kind of an aircraft if I can see that ring again here in different positions as it's going along, especially right here. That I saw in that earlier uh, photograph. So I think there's some kind of flying machines. So what I did here was I tried to uh, zoom in even farther uh, to get a better, you know, video of that thing. This is a screen grab and all I got was a couple of blinks, a couple of flashes on the uh, video. But that's one of them, and this is another one, and I just think it's like really cool, man. Look at that. This has got to be some kind of an object. I mean, you can see opposing uh, sides to it here. It looks like it just looks like a solid object of some kind at this particular moment. I mean, you know, with the differences in color here, you could say it's a lens flare or atmospheric distortion, but I just. I'm not really, you know, convinced of that at all. And there are some kind of machines of some type. Now here again, you see the ring in the center and a sort of a pyramidal or geodesic type shape to this thing. Now watch what it does. When they power up or they change, uh, you know, frequency or resonance, uh, 
it just goes into a plasmic state of being I think and then it can you know turn back down and, and become solid again now here uh, for lack of better term if they are life forms I'll just call this one here the male and the female now these uh, run around together a lot this red and white one when this power is up it turns white you can see that pyramid top here again that ring and that pyramid shape on this one here and you can see these holes in this one here I think that might have been the one right here that I've got those uh, enlarged images of when it was going through uh, different colors and this is a, a background uh, photograph or I mean a photograph I pulled out of the background that when it wasn't really lit up you can see the two two of them there again in a different position uh, this here is about uh, 250 millimeters I think for perspective I'm going to zoom in on this thing here and you can see them again how close together they are and how different they are I'm not buying that that's an airplane in a distance Now they spread apart, change shapes, and here's three of them in this one here. Now again, if, if I'm saying that the white one there is a male and uh, the red one's a female, look, look how he, apparently he's trying to impress her. I mean, because look at this uh, dance that this uh, other one's doing here. I don't know if they're attached or if they're just one solid piece. Uh, I mean, I, I'm really having a, a go at figuring out what these things can possibly be. You see the multitude of colors on just one one unit there? I just don't think it's an airplane. Now this here is, uh, again, that orb uh, when it's not completely powered up. And they change shapes uh, every now and then, and they go plasmic like that I see here there's too many colors on one side for that to be an airplane in my opinion uh, I can see that uh, pyramid shape there in the background so <clears throat> these are either machines or life forms now that could be there could be a, a possibly an airplane in the distance uh, that's uh, you know out of focus but now nah, I just I don't think so I really don't. Now here's one for perspective here. This is like uh, I think 250 millimeters. You can see the tree and we'll zoom in on it. I don't think that's an airplane. I really don't. I think it's some kind of a machine, flying machine. Here again you see that spiral that they're capable of and this is in that uh, plasmic uh, configuration and look at the change of colors airplane is not going to do that and I don't think it's going to do this either here again we have Pokemon <laughs> just kidding but you see the, the the outside container on this thing here is what it appears to be to me and it has the capacity to close up completely but it's containing this high energy field that's on the inside and when it closes down you just don't see it at all and it kind of pops open as it's going along and closes back up so like I said either it's a, a machine high-tech machine of some type or these things are just uh, really neat life forms out there flying around or else they're airplanes out of focus I don't know but anyway uh, thanks for having a look appreciate it Take care.